you assume that means you can't hear the guitar. So I'm going to, okay, now I see yeses, all right. Okay, so can you guys hear me talk when I'm like this far back, even though I'm what we call off mic? Yes, okay. So um, Mrs. Cregan for this show, uh, ha it's, it's all of her requests. And so the deal is that um, she asked me if I could play a lot of the song. When Mrs. Cregan and I first started dating, back when she was just Jenny John Coley, um, a graduate student, uh, the, uh, I, I, when we first started dating, um, Mrs. Cregan had no musical taste whatsoever. I think that's safe to say. <laughs> that's safe to say. She was, she was a clean slate. And um, being uh, of sound, musical mind and body, I sort of started, exp you know, uh, programming things to, you know, because early on I was like, this, you know, this could be a long run. I figured this could last six, seven weeks. So I might as well, um, you know, uh, get her to listen to some good music. So early in our relationship, I did what most um, uh, people in the 90s did and uh, made her a series of mixtapes. And she um, asked me for this show. Uh, she was like, oh, John, can you do those songs from that first mixtape? And I said, oh, um, I don't remember anything on that mixtape. But I was lying. I was playing dumb because I actually never forget a mixtape. I forget lots of things. I forget what I did this morning. But I don't forget mixtapes that I made, like, say, in 1998 or so like that. I still remember that. So there's going to be a lot of songs from that mixtape going on here. Now, tonight, if you've watched some of our previous shows, um, I was using a, a platform called YouTube Live to talk to everyone. For this one, I invested in something new. And I think like I can even do things like this. Hold on. Like play party noise. I don't know if anyone, no, probably, I don't know if that's working. Oh well. What a rip -off. Anyway, okay. So, uh, the first song we'll do is uh, one of Mrs. Cregan's special requests. This was not from that mixtape. Um, but. It's one of her favorites, so let's do this. All right, so let's see here. drum machine from the late 1970s, children, called a CR-78. Or this is a 68. Sorry, I don't want to lie to you. She does this a lot, even when there isn't a camera going on. It's very uh, disquieting. That's your first vocabulary word of the night, children, is disquieting. That means sort of oddly unsettling, the kind of thing that will give you nightmares later on when you're least expecting it. Okay, let's do this. So this is going to, I'm going to try to do this from here.
happened before Without a home Not without a star Only want to be free We huddle close Hang on to the dream On the boats and on the planes They're coming to America Never looking back again They're coming to America Home so far away We're traveling the night today In the eye of the storm In the eye of the storm Home To me when a shiny place Make our bed and I say our grace Freedom's life burning warm Freedom's like burning water Everywhere around the world They're coming to America Every time that flag's unfurled They're coming to America Got a dream to take them there They're coming to America Got a home they've come to share They're coming to America 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 Today, my country, tis a leaf, sweet land of liberty, of the ice. Patriotic sound check. Okay, um, so I'm gonna take a quick uh, poll of the sound here. So, could everyone hear, what, what does anyone wanna hear more of? Let's put it that way, more guitars, more vocals, more drum machine, like what, what would you like to hear more of? And I'm waiting for somebody out there to say something. Anybody? I see Fern, that was so sneaky, stealthy. More piano, okay. So I see that, so that's, yeah, that's this thing here. What about electric guitar? Was that enough electric guitar? What do we think? Okay, so let's move on. I think I'm gonna turn up my guitar just a little smidge. So like I say, it's always, okay, piano, yes, more fern, um, more piano. Everybody What's up, Joe is. Joseph? Julia Bergeron says, is that that patriotic song, Mrs. Cregan? Louder fern, yep, okay. Let's see here. All right, so I'm just gonna turn up one thing real quick. I'll be two seconds.
Okay, I saw some things in the chat that the Crestview sixth graders wanted a shout out. So I love you sixth graders. Thanks for coming back. Okay. All right. Hey, sixth graders. There you go. Sixth grade was a great year. <laughs> Not for me, but for most people. <laughs> sixth grade kind of stunk for me, but. Puberty. Let's not get into that, sweetie. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, so for this next song, and I think now that we have the sound kind of hopefully dialed in, we're just going to go bam, bam, bam from here on out. Because I've got this fine-tuned like a well-oiled machine down here with 8,000 cables. So Mrs. Cregan tells me that a lot of you um, children play guitar. Is that true? A lot, of, a lot of guitar players at home? So. At least for tonight. At least for tonight. Yeah, we've got guitar players at home tonight. So. Including Miss Yoon. Miss Yoon is playing guitar Yoon. tonight too. Excellent. All right. So. We are using a lot of historical guitar technology tonight, children, where um, Mr. Cregan uh, collects stuff. And so one of the things I've got here is called a tape echo. This is from 1971 or so. And what this does is it... Okay. Wow, it's really distracting to see all these comments going on. I'm going to just sort of put you young people to the side here. No, it's still going on, for Still going on. Okay. All right. Let's see here. from that mixtape. So Mrs. Cregan doesn't know about this song. So Mrs. Cregan's just going to sort of hang back for a second and let me get things going. All because right. Mrs. Cregan is sort of frightening Mr. Cregan. Because <laughs> I keep thinking she's rushing the stage. Else. Yeah, and I have no security. So I... I... Let's see. Kiss on my list. Doesn't that sound familiar? No. Okay. Here we go. Well, this is a song from that mixtape. Let's get psychedelic, children. Let's see what we can do. Okay. That's called a phaser.
song by a group called The Monkees. I'm sure at some school functions they've probably played that Hey, Hey, We're the Monkees song. Um, that song's not as good as the Monkees song I just played, but to each their own. All right, so let's just keep going right into the next thing. Okay, so. So, Mrs. Krieg, I, over the years, um, so I write songs on occasion, children, and I counted them up last night. And Mrs. Cregan and I have been involved um, for about 46 years. That's why this is 46. And, uh, but I, I counted it up and I have written uh, 30, 34 songs in Mrs. Cregan's honor over the course of those years. And we're gonna do them all tonight! No, I'm kidding, no we're not. Um, so, uh, but we're gonna do a few that she's requested. So. This one is sort of a, a good complimentary song to that monkey song we just heard. And this song um, is about when uh, Mrs. Krieg and I first got married and um, she used to get these nightmares all the time about anything like any whatever she saw or listened to whatever happened to her right before she fell asleep she would have awe-inspiring nightmares about it no matter what um, if she had like a cheeseburger before bed she would have a nightmare about a cheeseburger um, you know if she watched you know an episode of friends right before bed she would have like nightmares about Chandler and Monica it was just it was really really vivid um, but you know then you get, you know, then, then you, you, know, you live and learn, you meet new doctors, and everything's fine. But this, at this point, I try to write a song to calm her down. And that's what this song is kind of about. Uh, it's called uh, So Bashful. Let's do another cover here real quick. 
So this is another song. Whoa. Here we go. That's what happens when you use your most expensive microphone for this. Okay. There we go. All right. I think that's working. What's the cover, dear? What's the cover? It's a surprise. No, no. Yes, we love surprises. Okay, okay. dear, I can't get to my beverage. <laughs> All okay. right. I'm working here. <laughs> All right. So. Green tea all the way. That's right. Mmm. <laughs> oh boy. Delicious. Okay. So. So. So this. Uh, yeah. These next two songs are kind of a match set. And so. Um, how would I put this? So. Actually, Jenny. Why don't you talk about um, <laughs> your musical taste when you first started dating? Just Stop. tell them. And you had, at this point, six or seven years of college. <laughs> tell, them, tell them about it. Let's hear about it. Uh, I liked listening to old Judy Garland songs. Woo! I did too. That's why people were worried about it. Right. There was the occasional yes. Amy Grant. Uh, I did like I did like the old standards. So I get some bonus points for Frank Sinatra and Lee Martin. Ooh, are you going to do that tomorrow? I know. We, we are going to have surprises here. Alright, okay. back to your seat. Yeah, okay. Yeah, back to your seat. There we go. Right. Security. Alright. Here we go.
go. After I introduce Mrs. Cricket to that song, then, oh my goodness, don't sneak up and be like that. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> um, I wrote a song, Jenny. Okay, why don't you say what you say? <laughs> okay. I was going to say that the kids are loving all the facts. Okay. So when you do historical stuff, they love it. Okay. They said maybe turn the guitar down. Turn the guitar, guitar down. down. They're trading your light, right and locking up. All right, all right, fine. <laughs> okay, we'll turn and uh, we even have people listening in Canada. Oh. Shout out to Jen and Greg the Cowboys. Okay. okay, there we go. No more sneaking up on Mr. Krieger like that. It's been, it's been a rough couple of weeks. All right. So, all right, so anyway. Um, so, um, so after uh, Mrs. Krieger and I have been together for a little while, and I've been writing songs uh, in her honor. This is um, a song that kind of just fell out, and it's sort of a complimentary song to the song we just heard, 8675309. So in this song, if you listen closely, I talk about Mrs. Cregan's number being written on the wall. Oh, yes. Uh, don't give it away. It's a hint. It's a hint. So this is a song that's uh, yeah, written written sort of as a response to that last song, defending the honor of my Jenny. this uh, folksier vibe for a second after all that feedback let's let's try 
I'm gonna go as far to get this acoustic guitar here. Oh, we're gonna do Mama's surprise. Hey, we're just gonna oh. get surprised. Be surprised. There we go. Okay. All right, here we go. It's always important to tune, children. Hmm. There we go. Another acoustic-y song here, but one that all the kids will enjoy. So let's do a Beatles song. I know Mrs. Craigan asked for some Beatles Bring songs. The Beatles. Right here we go. So this is a song from Yellow Submarine, but we're not going to do the song Yellow Submarine. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Excellent. So, if you children have ever seen Yellow Submarine, um, there's a song they do at the very end where the real Beatles come out and they do a fun little song called All Together Now. So let's do that one. Here we go. particular story behind it. So I have a friend who I think is watching tonight in Fairfax, Virginia. Uh, his name is David Enoch Cole. Um, an old accent ague on the E in Enoch. And um, years ago, uh, he was, I think he had like a radio show on like a public radio station. And as part of their pledge drive, I offered to write a song uh, for anybody who donated a certain amount of money, I'd write a song of their choice about whatever they wanted the song to be about. 
And the lucky winner of said uh, thing was actually uh, Dave Cole's father, uh, who wanted a song about his daughter, Dave's sister, Carolyn, who was just about to leave for, um, uh, I think, New York City. She was about to leave the nest, as they say. So it was a song of hope about a young girl moving to the big city. So that's what this is about. So let's try this. the whole song, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. So the, the rain is falling out there. Let's see here. I'm gonna. Oh. Have a little, hey, don't spoil anything. I think I know what that oh, is just from that. Name that tune. Yeah. You, you had me perk up there, dear. Mm -hmm. Another fact about Miss Cregan that my favorite animal besides dogs are giraffes. Mm. I love giraffes. Did I guess the right song here? Mm -hmm. Okay. I guess the right song. So it is appropriate mm -hmm. for me to tell you how much I love giraffes. Yes. <laughs> Mrs. Cregan's been conditioned Pavlovian style to respond to a major seventh chord. <laughs> here we go. 
all the neo soul we listen to around the house. <laughs> All right, can we hear that? Here we go. So this is a song Mrs. Cregan likes. Because I love giraffes. She loves, the word was giraffes, by the way. <laughs> Could have been a lot of words. All right, here we go. <laughs> going groovy out there? How's it going out there? Let's see here. Okay. Check, check, check. So what do you think? Do we want to get rocking? Is that enough acoustic for right now? Yeah, I think we need to get rocking. Okay. And so you shall. Okay. <laughs> Check one, two. All right, so let's let's put Mr. One of Mr. Freeman's electric guitars back on. Let's see here. What what electric guitar shall we use, children? Um, we could use. You know what? Let's just stick with the guitar I've got right here. Let's see here. Okay. Perfect. I would say that if you are an older adultish friend of mine and you have um, a note or a suggestion about what's turned up or what's turned down, um, just text me directly. Or me. Uh, no, text me. <laughs> text me directly because I've got my phone right here. <laughs> Okay, so when we last left rock and roll, let's do. Actually, I hear a little bit of hear a little bit of rain outside. It's kind of getting me in a psychedelic mood, children. Let's see what we can do. Here. What do we think? Thank you. 
guitar and all of a sudden has this crazy echo to it. Hear that? So what's making that is called a uh, Echoplex, tape echo. And it's this ancient piece of technology that um, what it does is uh, now you can do it digitally on your computers. It doesn't quite sound as good, but the way it was originally done was on a piece of tape, um, like recording tape. And so uh, you would play through this echoplex, and a piece of tape is actually going through this, uh, recording the sound really quickly, and then playing it back against itself. And so this is sort of like the original way we used to get echo effects. So this is one of Mrs. Cregan's all-time favorite songs. But I'm going to do it a little, a little heavier version. to a church I passed a long way when I got down on my knees and I pretend to pray No, the preacher likes the cold
and the sky is green. Hazelfied version of that there song. So, was that too rocking? No, never. All right. Never. Okay, because Mrs. Cregan likes rocking here. All right. Mrs. Cregan, why don't you come say hello again, real quick? Mrs. Cregan? Oh my goodness, all the comments is about Apex and Fortnite and is anybody actually listening to show or are you all just talking about video games? Ah! Flynn, no more video game talk and mommy show, no more video game talk. And kids with these pseudonyms, I don't know who you are. Tiger somebody said to have a shout out, Tiger somebody. I don't know who you are. See Apex popping Talking up a lot. Mic, Not please. sure who that is. Oh, okay. Talking to the mic. All right. Talking to the mic. Say hello, talk. Hello. No more video game talk in my chat, guys. No more thank you. Thank you, Flam. I saw you stopped. You're listening. Thank you. Okay. Oh no. Sorry, Nate. Not doing requests this time. Well, I fine. made all the requests. I made all the requests in advance. Ooh, ooh. Well, we're not sad. When, when do we get to do my when do we get to do my okay. 80s cover? Okay. Yeah. All right. My my home room from last year will have a fond memory of that when you get there. Okay. I'll give everybody a hint. All right. Should I give everybody Wait, a hint? No, I, I, nope. I think people love to be surprised. Yeah. Oh, okay. People are gonna be surprised. Yeah. Okay. But right. I have made all the requests. Okay. Okay. So set. Thank You're back you. on? Yep. Okay, back. here we go. Good job. Okay. So let me know if that uh, last song was too rocking. Never! I mean, on the interwebs. Let me know if it's too rocking. Um, let's see here. Okay. You know, I really like these glasses, but... They're not prescription, and I can only see like. Lila is Liv watching. Is little Liv watching? <laughs> oh yeah. I've got a 15-year-old nephew in Texas saying you're jamming out, Uncle John. Okay. You know, I think it's a good time to tell all the children out there that you can have just as much fun drinking matcha tea as Cabernet. <laughs> you get high on life, kids. I'm living proof of it. All right. Let's see here. All right, so we're back up. We'll just keep this rocking thing going here with another. <laughs> wow, sweetie, you had a two-year-old dancing the whole time. <laughs> Gotta keep those little sisters dancing. All right, well, let's do, 
But Mrs. Cregan has been wanting here. Oh, Mrs. Okay, Cregan. Let, let's let's just oh. let's just let it happen, sweetie. Oh, okay. Let's just let it happen. Okay. Okay. This one is dedicated to last oh. year's class. All right. Mrs. Cregan keeps frightening me. Last year's homeroom. I don't know if any of them are on here. See what keeps happening, children, is that <laughs> I'm just about to do a song and then Mrs. Cregan scares me <laughs> and I jump. And then my headphones come unplugged, and I have to take time to plug them all back in. Mm. Mrs. Krieger would not be a good spy. <laughs> oh. oh. What? Oh, no. What? Did what? I, what did I trigger? When I was in college, okay. oh, I did goodness. seriously think about it. Yeah. <laughs> and I realized very quickly I'd be a horrible one, one, one of America's <laughs> near misses. <laughs> okay. I'd be the worst oh. spy ever. All right. Yeah. <laughs> That was a close one. Yeah. All right, dedicated to okay. Mrs. Cregan's home room. Okay, let's, last let's just let's just let it happen. Okay, here we go. But you don't have to dance with the speaker. All right. Yeah, if you're up here, you gotta sing. Oh, no, yeah, no. that's the rule. Oh, <laughs> All right then. Y'all playing so cool. Y'all playing every rule. Take away down in your heart. Y'all down and burning for some. I got a good feeling. Come 
All right. And smart and final and Walgreens everywhere. Every time. There <laughs> Every we go. Time. Thank you, dear. All right. Good job. <laughs> Let's do. Okay. Let's do another song I wrote for Mrs. Cregan. See how that goes. Now that we're warmed up here a little bit. All right. Actually, this is a song. Uh, there we go. So this is a song that um. that little one, yep. and I want you to just turn it down like half a number, just half a number, just slightly, ever so slightly, just turn it down, just a little bit, there, that's good, perfect, thank you, sweetie, yeah. excellent work, alright, so this is a song, um, it's the first song off our new album, it's um, called uh, History of Man, and it's sort of like the first song off this concept album I wrote about uh, me and Mrs. Cregan's a 20 year long relationship, which is why it's called 20. And um, this first song, History of Man, is kind of like the thesis statement. And what it was sort of about was a friend of mine who was having some uh, relationship trouble. And uh, I, uh, when, you're, when you've been married as long as I have, you end up sort of getting called in to uh, help friends out who haven't been with people as long as you've been with your significant other. And the advice that I gave him was, you know, hey, you know, Mrs. Creek and I, like all kinds of crazy stuff happened to us. And, you know, we're still going good. Like, you know, you've only been going out with this woman for like six months. Sure, you can put this back together. So this is the song's called History of Man. And um, yeah, it's sort of a song of encouragement. And um, I'm actually gonna have a video ready for this song, I think in the next few days. I've been working on it for quite a while and it's almost done, so. Thank you. 
instrumental presentation there. Excellent. So let's do another one from another cover from Mrs. Cregan's first mixtape here. And uh, let's see what we can do here. This, this is a more rocking one. Let's see, pardon me. How's everyone doing out there, by the way? Let's see. There's Mrs. Cregan. I didn't want her to miss this. She stepped out for a second. I think uh, Child Protective Services was <laughs> All right. All right, let's see. <sighs> so, let's try this one. Now this was a uh, sort of one of the first two or three entire albums that uh, was able to sort of get Mrs. Cregan hip to here. And uh, I think this is going to require one tweak here. Tune children. So, you may not know it by looking at me, but when I was a younger Mr. Cregan, I used to rock pretty hard. Oh, there were days of smashing guitars, children. There were days of smashing guitars. Let's see what I can do. Those were fun days in their own way.
take a couple of requests if they're sort of like suitably rocking. <laughs> um, let's see here. So I'm, that's probably not requests from the kids. What could be? <laughs> Maybe. All right. It's America. It's, it's America. land of opportunity. <laughs> All right. But in the meantime, I'll do uh, another rocking uh, John Cregan originally. <laughs> it's good. It's starting to build up a... Club <laughs> Lana says rap next. The closest we can get to that Aunt Lana is Hamilton. I'm trying to get him to do a Hamilton song. That is not happening. <laughs> Hamilton's not happening. Say it, please hold out, was it 
a moment of quiet to gather your thoughts before you're trying something that you hadn't previously considered. <laughs> So 
My mother-in-law can understand the words. I love okay, that. okay, I love good. Mm. So Thank you, you mommy. Okay. Thank you, All mommy right. and daddy. So now that we're doing un Woo things that are unplanned, Woo that was of, awesome. Yes, yes, it requires sort of a <laughs> modicum of personal space. Uh, does anybody have any requests, uh, other requests out there? Otherwise, I'm going to pick something rocking here. Actually, I could. Yeah, let's see here. kids <laughs> like a real like one that hasn't been washed in weeks and weeks and weeks <laughs> and people slap it on thinking it makes them look somewhat presentable <laughs> that's what grunge kind of is it's that <laughs> and um, you know it was a lot of songs that had to do with a uh, uh, philosophy called transcendental meditation. No, I'm kidding. No, that. <laughs> um, you know, so it was a, sort of this musical movement started around 1991. It's when it sort of got big, and um, it actually there was a lot of really great grunge music, um, but it sort of started as being synonymous with cities in the Northwest, especially Seattle, um, where it, they only get sun two to three days a year. Um, the rest of the other 362 to three days, um, it rains constantly. So there, that's why the the, the shirt uh, <laughs> is so important. And um, so it gets it got cold up there, and so all of these smelly teenagers move into their basements with their guitars and turn on their amplifiers to keep warm, and and they started playing and. Grunge came out. And, um, you know, and it was fun um, until, uh, it was fun until fraternity guys liked it. And, uh, and then, uh, and anytime fraternity guys start liking anything, that's when the party's over. And can you do that amp truck again? You want it down or Yes, I want you to fix, go over there right now. Yes, turn it off. Turn it back on. Off, back on. Yeah, we're just going to have to deal with that. Okay, thank you. Okay, good job, sweetie. Now it's on. Good job, you did it. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's grunge music. Um, there were some really good grunge bands, um, and there were some really not so good grunge bands. And um, so, like, the good ones, if you're keeping score at home, children, uh, Nirvana would be a very good grunge band. Um, some people really enjoy Pearl Jam. Um, that sort of gets into that fraternity situation I was warning you about. And, um, but, you know, there's a couple snappy tunes. Um, you know, uh, Alice in Chains. Um, All right. Yeah. Salo's done. Salo says crank the tunes. All right. <laughs> Just, if you listen, just stick with Nirvana, kids, and they'll get your fun. All right, let's see here. All right, let's try this. Okay, so let's do something else that's rocking here. I've got an idea that Mrs. Cregan is going to enjoy. Oh, okay. 
let's see, and actually, I don't know, Fern is out probably keying cars in the neighborhood. <laughs> Yeah, that's not a sign of good parenting. Sweetie, you're gonna have to do that thing again. All right, let's see here. Excellent work. Yeah, you might just, yeah, you're just gonna probably have to hang out over there for a while. Okay. Okay. I can't believe my parents are still awake. Yeah. Go Tom and Wendy.
if he has to show up for that one. <laughs> Spa voices, dear. <laughs> Spa voices. Okay. All right, let's try something else. It seems like everyone's feeling the, the psychedelia here. Let's try something else here. marketing campaign. I know. <laughs> Feliciano's back, baby!
of Prince. Wow, okay. <laughs> you can do that. Prince for Aunt Lana. For who? Aunt Maddie, the tutor. Mm -hmm. This is her Aunt, Aunt Lana. All right, yeah, we can do that. And my parents are still away. Wow. Uh, and Lana says Pearl Jam, too. You got to choose, Aunt Lana. Prince no. or Pearl Jam? Oh, well, that's no choice. <laughs> it's a decision. All right. There we go. Yeah, we can do this one. So this is for Aunt Lana.
Okay. Wow. All right, does the amp stay on? Uh, try turning it back on now. I think we're almost done here. Oh, man. Yeah, let's see here. Your son is asking for more monkeys, but I don't know if he knows what he's even talking about. How does he know the monkeys? I don't know. <laughs> but he keeps saying monkeys in the chat. I could do a monkey song. Yeah, let's do right. a monkey song. Let's see here. Everybody loves monkeys. <laughs> Joseph says it's more than two hours. What? He wants to stop, Joseph? Okay. He wants to stop? That's we're it. Good night, stopping. everybody. Nope. We're not stopping. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, I think we are getting towards the end here, sweetie. Okay. Well, yeah. Let's do... See? He doesn't want us to stop. Oh. <laughs> um, he says, please, more, more, more. Well, just a couple. <laughs> yeah, do a monkey song, sweetie. That's what we are... Uh, trying to do here. <laughs> Flynn, you said that's not what you meant. Then why did you say monkey so many times? You don't mean the monkeys? Ew. Well, too late. We're getting a monkey song, what did dude. He, what did he mean? Well, yeah, what did you mean? How would you say monkeys in the chat a thousand times and not mean the monkeys? Come on. <laughs> dude, we're getting more monkeys, whether you like it or not. All right, here we go. Laura Hollis is probably asleep by now, but you know, uh -huh. we're sending out monkeys for the Hollis. Right. So for this one, Jennifer, you really are gonna need to tend oh. the amplifier.
Sure. <laughs> Holy day. All right. Is that it? Are we done? Sure, but I want to say something if you're done. You really think you're done? I'll do, why don't you say something and then we'll do a, a one more song and then I'll do Okay, it. so we'll do a grand finale. Exactly. Oh my goodness. Oh. Your son is the only one that's put anything in the chat for like the last All right, minute. well I thought you were coming up here to say something. Okay, all right, so. And at this point, say it in the. That, that one? Microphone. Yeah, but you don't have to get close to it. Okay. Just regular, regular spa voice. I can't see myself though, okay. I, it's fine. Okay. Hey guys. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for anybody on the East Coast that is still with us. Big shout out to my mom and dad. Um, for spa voice. Six years ago for my 40th birthday, John and his band played at our house. And we had tons of friends. And my favorite thing was that Fern and Elsie and other little kids were having a tea party right in front of the show. I love having kids here and I'm so thankful that you guys celebrated with us and wrote in the chat and had fun. So this is my public service announcement. This is my public service announcement. Never be afraid to celebrate your birthday. Don't ever hide how old you are. Tell everybody how old you are and celebrate it. And throw yourself a party, okay? Always have fun. There's so much fun to be had in life. You're not getting louder. There's so much fun to be had in life, guys. Grab the joy. Share the love. Make Valentine's for everybody you know. And if you're one of my students, make a Valentine for me. Okay? But just share the joy. Have fun. Don't let life get you down. There's so much good in it. So much to celebrate. And thank you to the amazing Mr. Creed. Thank you. So he's going to come in with one last grand finale. Good night.
song on that mixtape. <laughs> that was part of the surprise. Is that, I mean, we don't even know you, you know these songs, but you do. That was... It's just that left bank song. That ballerina one. Pretty ballerina. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't sing that right now. It's way too high. That's okay. Man, you have given me the most amazing concert. This has been so much fun. But please, Mexican wine. Oy vey. <laughs> Or what about oh, the oh, one, oh, spa voice, what spa about voice. cellular, cellular phone explosion? That's the same song, sweetheart. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. I knew I liked it. <laughs> awesome. All right, I'll see what I can do here. Okay. Oh, my goodness. No, oh, such a good song. I think I'm going to have to do this a little bit lower. Do you need, need me to turn the thing off again? No, I'm just going to... Just, well, it, turn it off. It's, it's, it's not off already. We go over and turn it off, sweetheart. Okay. All right. Yeah, I abandoned that. It is off. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Um, it, let me just get another 
non-alcoholic beverage really quick. Let me just, I just need, I just need one little bit of water. I just need like two seconds here. Okay. Just pretend this like is the encore. Don't, don't come up here and yell because the, the microphone's super sensitive, honey. Okay, I'll so like it'll be like, yeah. I'll do a spotless. Yeah, yeah. it's really sensitive so if you really care. I'm going to be very quiet. I'm trying to think who actually rocked out for a long time last time. And it was the cop shows and the walkers. You guys both still there? Mr. Cop Cho, are you rocking out with us? Nicola Walker, are you still there? Okay. I'm going to have two more songs. We're gonna have this Mexican wine song, and then we gotta have some sort of Johnny Cash. John does such a good Johnny okay. Cash. Uh, he also does a really good Elvis Costello. Okay. I don't know. Uh, here we go. Uh, where's my Dino, he's really good with Dean Martin. Yeah, I don't know. I wonder who else is there. Sabine, have you been there this evening? You had the best. Dress. I love your dress, Sabine. If you're still there, you gotta let me know. Aww. Tom and Wendy John Coley are still rocking out in Virginia. What is it like? Oh no. 11.30 there, Tom? Oh my boy. We love technology. Yay! And kids, you know, the best part about this indoor concert, virtual concert, is that Mrs. Cregan is still wearing her flip-flops. Nice dress and flip-flops. Ma'am, this pandemic ends and I have to start wearing real shoes to school again. That's going to be so awful. I think since March, I have worn flip-flops every single day except maybe six days. Maybe ten? Okay. We love our flip flops. Okay, here he is for Mexican wine right, and a Johnny Cash. Okay. Uh, let's go quick. Add real flips in. Uh, okay. Oh, dang. His buttons are not, or balloons are not very ergonomically friendly for rock and roll. It's not as fun as you think. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so. You know what your son says? Nope. He says, your son says, Mommy, give the man a break. He's been doing this for over two hours. <laughs> Let's try this. All right. Oh, boy.
go, honey. Happy birthday. Hey, you. Oh, oh no, 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 no. You've been a friend for a while. Oh, Jennifer. Hey, you. Oh, my gosh. Does anybody out there know no, Sloan? No, no, no. No one out there knows Sloan. There aren't any Canadians out there. Uh, you don't know. Mike Webb might still be oh, listening. I don't, I don't Mike know. Webb and Sharan, text me if you're there. Oh. Hey, you. Mm. Uh, maybe they're not there. I don't know. Let's just do that. That's good. All right. Okay. And where did my guitar picks go? Oh, there was one. Wow, I totally saw a guitar pick when I was cleaning the piano today. Mm -hmm. but, and I didn't move it, so. All right. Um. Um. All right, so we're going to do this Wilson Prison, and that's going to be... Is that the real finale? It's the real finale. Uh, but if you stop, dear, I have a great social studies test. <laughs> don't stop. I don't want to break the social studies test.
off here and smoking big cigars. I know I had it coming. I know I can't see it. Birthday present. We'll, oh, we'll, we're gonna open it. Why don't we open it on, on national television here? Oh wow! Okay. So, yeah, this will be a fun. Um, oh, yeah, for yeah. This this will be good. Um, okay. So, okay. Mrs. Krieg and and, and 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 something like this, dear, is all about timing. <laughs> so, um, and you're gonna have to be very careful with this. So, okay. um, she has no idea what she's getting for her birthday. <laughs> this is her main birthday present. Um, just know that uh, well, the concert we kind of blew it out on Christmas a little bit here. And all I can say is that um, this gift is more expensive than you think. Um, what is it again? All right, so you have to be very careful opening it. I mean, maybe okay. I should open it. That's how careful we should be. Mrs. Cregan has a long history of destroying <laughs> presents in her thirst for glory, <laughs> ripping it open right away. There's a, several okay. stories. Okay, uh, well, I'll let you open while I tell everybody the story. There, that's that, I think that is <laughs> smart football, dear. So All for right. my parents' and 30th spa anniversary. Spa voice, though, because this is very sensitive. <laughs> Why don't you like, yeah, here, I'll do this. I'll, I'll do okay. And, and just remember, it just less is more, less is more. So for my parents' 30th anniversary, years ago now they're nearing their 50th congratulations mom and dad not too far away um, we bought them a DVD player because we had spent weeks and weeks and weeks making them a DVD of memories I had spent weeks <laughs> I weeks. scanned the pictures you put it together but I spent a lot of time scanning the pictures but anyway they needed to have a DVD player in order to use the DVD we made of their 30th anniversary and as I opened the box with the DVD in it, in my first to open the box, I cut the cord of the DVD player and just like destroyed you're, you're, it. You're, you're not setting it up properly. We, we were in a mountain house. <laughs> we were in a mountain house in Waynesboro, Virginia. Nowhere near a Best yeah, Buy. <laughs> and the whole Amazon family, wasn't really. And the entire family. <laughs> Everybody was there in expectation. To watch what. <laughs> I had spent months being told to do. And I opened it up. And, <laughs> and I cord. told you in that moment, dear, you might want to slow down. And but does Mrs. Cregan Mrs. ever Cregan, slow down? No, or Mrs. listen. Mrs. Cregan never slows Mrs. down. Mrs. cut the cord. To but the I am so cord. much fun. Aren't I fun? Yes, dear. I'm totally fun. But oh, what is in my present? Also depends present. on your definition of fun. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, we, I, I'm Jennifer. Just we okay. jerry this is, rigged it. Okay, this is this is a calm moment because this is very delicate. So let's take okay. a deep breath. I'm thinking it's like a movie poster. Okay, no, just just okay. Let's just take it in. We're gonna just quietly. Is it like calm. authentic Thomas Jefferson's writing? And quietly calm the what moment is it? because this is very delicate. Okay, so this is this is this is a <laughs> this is a this is a very quiet, gentle <laughs> moment. Okay, this is this. Is, and you're quite a gentle person, my then, whole life. I know, but this has to be the first one. This could get easily destroyed. Yeah, Jennifer, just, just let me do this. I'm not doing anything. Okay. okay, it looks okay. like okay, just, just. it's an original newspaper or something. Jenny, just 
can you just take I'm this? I'm not doing to, anything. I know, but like, I, you're not giving me room to do this, sweetheart. And this is very... Lord, this guy really taped. I can see that you can okay. just pull it out. All right, Jen, Jen, this is the exact <laughs> thing. The exact thing. All right. Okay. We're very close. If this patience okay. is a virtue, okay. and you are on the precipice of getting your birthday present, Alright. I feel just, like, is it something I would say about Devil Fish? Just, right, just wait, and then you will see it, and here we go. Okay, so, oh, see? Nobody wants to think of Thomas keeps, Jefferson these days. Okay. Can't so. think Thomas Jefferson. Alright, so, there it is. Why don't you read what the thing says? 1800 newspaper and presidential election. Alexander Hamilton Jefferson. Is this, a, it's a newspaper from? 1800. Oh my goodness. Then Jerry, Jen, don't, no, oh, no, no, okay. no, we're going to leave it in the thing right now. Um, but yeah, it's from November 26, 1800. And it's a uh, Columbian Sentinel. Uh, from, and it's about, it's a news story about how Alexander Hamilton helped break the tie Oh my to goodness. To give the election to Jefferson. What? And this is, this, this is a 220 year old newspaper. Yes. Alexander Hamilton. Yes. Can you just sing Alexander Hamilton um, over yes. here? Come on. I, I'm afraid that if I do, you'll rip that thing in half. No, 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 no. No, no, no. He's the one that gave Jefferson the presidency. Exactly. So that's And this is a newspaper? About that. So that is crazy. Yeah. So what? Can you imagine my dad's like newspaper wall and this is like cooler than everything on your wall, Daddy? So yeah. This is two hundred. So the Democratic Republicans' failure to execute their plan to award Ooh. Jefferson one more vote than Burr resulted in a tie, which necessitated a contingent election in the House of Representatives. Each state delegation cast one vote and a victory in the contingent election required one candidate to win a majority of the state wow. delegation. And look, okay, look, look for my kids. This is Massachusetts Federalist, but the S's look like F's because of the printing. Okay, they're all confused about this. Because the S's look like, that is so cool. That is so cool. Thank you! That is so cool. The only thing that would be cooler is if you wrapped Hamilton right now. Come on, come on. <laughs> what is the election of 1800? Right. I'll tell you what. If You'll play you, it? If you go sit okay, over okay. there and, and, wow. and put the newspaper down somewhere safe, um, I'll think about... Like, this is final crazy. Yeah. But, yeah, so here's... Wednesday, that. okay, I can... Wednesday, November 26, 1800. Wow. And so, yeah, it tells the whole story of how Hamilton... Uh, help sway it. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is so cool. Where did you find this? Was this an eBay thing? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So why not, yeah, why don't, I'll, I'll, I'll Oh, go. that is so right. cool. That's better than Julie. I know. <laughs> History teacher, this is way better than Julie. Oh, that's so cool.
impoverished and squalor. Grow up to be a hero and a scholar. The tank dollar, found your father without a father. Do a lot harder, by working a lot harder, by being a lot smarter, by being a self starter by 14. They place him in charge of the trading charter. And every day, as he started his with Carter, who hey, struggle and kept his guard up. Inside, he was longing for something to be a part of. The brother was ready to be a man barter. And a hurricane came and devastation reigned. And a man saw his boots drip dripping down the drain. With a pencil to his temple, connected to his brain. And wrote his first refrain, attention to his pain. He said the words were an answer. This shit is insane, man. Took up a collection just to send him to, to the mainland. Get your education, don't forget from whence you came And a really trust the brain, the son, what's your name? Alexander Hamilton My name is Alexander, Alexander Hamilton. Hamilton And there's a million, million things, things I, I haven't, haven't done. done But just you wait Just you wait, wait. For a cent, got him fending for yourself. In an Alex, you can be the devil cleaning on the shelf. There was something that the devil did, and someone that's a studio would have been dead destitute without a sense of restitution. Started working, clucking for his late mother's landlord. Traded shade the cane, all the food and things he can't afford. Ruined for the little clean of villains in his nan's own. Faming for future now, it seems as he stands on the bow of a ship and making for a new land in New York. You can be a new man. You can be a new man. <laughs> Just you wait. Just you wait. In New York. Just you wait. Alexander Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton. We are waiting on the wings for you. You could never back down. Never took your time. Alexander Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton. America's for you. When you know what you overcame. When you know that you love the game. The world will never be. him and me I loved him and me I'm the damn fool that shot it there's a million things I haven't done just you wait oh Alexander Hamilton there you go okay thank you thank you everybody for coming to my birthday party don't end it I have to see what they wear in the chat don't end it you can nighty night